Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing a grocery haul. This is like a collective weekly grocery haul. So not every single day, but I believe the first clip you'll see will Tuesday last week. Today is Tuesday the following week. Um, I know I didn't shop yesterday or the day before, but I think the rest of the days I did shop. So regardless, I showed you guys everything that we purchased throughout this week. I'm just changing up the budget and our routine and everything once again. So we'll just see how this goes for us. I feel like after the first week though, it feels pretty good. I'm kind of confident in this new little budgeting thing that I got going on. But we'll keep testing it for a couple more weeks and I will, I don't know, expand a bit more on that. But for now, here is the collective haul. Majority of it is from Woolies. I think it was Foodland maybe once or twice, Coles once. Um, yeah, but anyway, we'll go back to last week and I'll show you guys what we purchased. Okay, so today's Thursday. I've just came home from the grocery store. So there's not many items here. This is just things that we need for either lunch and dinner tonight. So at the deli section, they had 20% off the chicken wings. They look perfectly fine and normal. This is going to be dinner tonight. Um, so yeah, as you can see, the price would have been $4.23. It was only $3.38 instead. I asked for eight pieces of chicken wings and it was $7 a kilo. Um, so for tea, what we're going to do, we're going to harvest our first zucchini. I'm going to grill some pineapple with it and the chicken wings and we're going to cook it outside on the charcoal cooker yeah, with the pineapple this was $1.95 for half of a pineapple i asked for two chicken breasts again at the deli section it is $10.50 a kilo page $7.90 and the weight is 752 grams just for two chicken breasts which they are quite big so that's just pretty much one each for nick and i for lunch i probably might even only have half of mine i'm not too sure and he might have half of his, I'm not too sure. But whatever we don't use, we'll just end up probably making shredded chicken and freeze anyway. And then to go with my lunch, I wanted to make a chicken pesto pasta salad. So the other main ingredients I needed was pesto. I'm not making pesto from scratch, it's just me eating it. And I'm only going to make enough for the next couple of days for lunch. So I just bought a jar. So I've never tried Jamie's Oliver's. I've actually never even seen he had a pesto out. So that'd be kind of cool to try. I wanted a red onion to go with it. Oh, the pesto was $4.50. It was on sale. I don't know what the original price was. The onion, I don't know how much that was. I didn't have my receipt. And the parmesan cheese, this was on sale. It was $7. Again, I don't know what the original price was. All right, so today we went to Woolworths and I had to pop to Foodland. Just, I don't know. I like to have a look at Foodland every now and then and we got a little treat. So from Woolies, we got this 24 packer of toilet paper, which was $13.20, I believe. We got some eggs, just some standard cheap eggs at $4.90. I got myself a litre milk that was dollar something, I think. I think it's a dollar something. I'm actually not too sure. I don't have the receipt again. The cream was $2, $3 something. I don't know. Oh my God, I'm horrible at this today. I don't know how much the cream was. This toilet cleaner, this scent smells really good i've been loving the like sticky bits the sticky things i've just finished the one i had from audi that thing lasts for ages um so i haven't tried this brand but the scent is cosmic peach which is orchid peach and sandalwood scent which i just smell really that smelled really really good um even the sound of that i kind of want that like in a candle or something so hopefully it will be nice for the toilet these are half price at woolies this week so it was only two dollars and 99 cents and then to go with Nick's dinner, I got him some mushrooms. I don't know, you probably wouldn't eat the whole lot today, hey? So he'll probably have half of this today, half of this tomorrow. I don't like mushrooms. Um, that's what the cream's for as well. We're doing like a creamy garlic sauce with chicken. I just got chicken breast from the freezer. We'll do a creamy garlic sauce. I'm going to use some green beans in the freezer. And he's not the biggest fan of green beans, so I thought he can have mushroom. Normally it's asparagus, broccolini, but they didn't look good. And then here from Foodland, as you can see, this classic caramel milk that was $2.80. Shouldn't have brought any of this with our diet. I've just went bad with sugar again. I'm trying to be good. Yesterday I was good, sugar free. Um, but I really wanted just a sweet treat. <laughs> so I saw this, it's reduced at $2.80. I think it's normally $3 anyway. The caramel flavour, which caramel is just a basic flavour, but I've never actually seen it like this. I saw this Philly's tiramisu, no it's not tiramisu, what is it? Trifle cup and it's got like one of those cherries on the top. Um, Nick loves trifles so that was his little treat. I got myself a chocolate donut. Donuts are my weaknesses and at the checkout they had these Boston Bay like jerky sticks. 
Um, so this one is wood smoked pepperoni stick, which that just sounded really good and I sh thought he would like it. So I got that for him. Really food land on nothing but bad stuff for us, but it's all right. It'll be delicious. So today I went to Carl's. This should be enough stuff for us for tonight for lunch and dinner and tomorrow and the day after. So realistically, I shouldn't have to go to the store for the next three days. So total spend was $56.86. The... The family stir fry mix, this was only 80 cents. I don't know why it still has three days on its stay. It looks perfectly fine. So that's got cabbage, carrot, corn, spinach, and onion. So then when I saw that for 80 cents, I know we got chicken in the freezer. We got enough stuff in the pantry to make a sauce. So then I decided to grab these noodles to go with it. The noodles was a dollar and 85 cents. Asparagus, that's gonna be for tea tonight. We got some chicken breast defrosting. So Nick will have the asparagus, that was a dollar 50. I'm gonna have some green beans in the freezer to go with my chicken tonight. The pumpkin will go with the roast over there for tomorrow. I wanna to do a Sunday roast. So the pumpkin is $2.50 a kilo. This one was 651 grams, so it's a dollar 63, so. We'll roast that up tomorrow. Tomatoes was three dollars ninety a kilo. It's two hundred eleven grams for the two, which was eighty two cents for the two tomatoes. That's going to be for toasties for lunches for the next three days. The broccoli, I got two bunches, or well, two. I got two heads of broccoli. That was five dollars ninety a kilo. It was five hundred thirty one grams for the two, so it's three dollars thirteen. And I want to cut that up and roast that as well to go with our roast. The butter, we just completely ran out of butter. So I got the top butter more so because we're going to be doing toasties. Um, it was on sale for $4 something, but it scanned up as $5.25 for, for the full price, which is kind of annoying, but that's our go-to butter anyway. So I probably would have gotten it regardless. So for the Sunday roast, we're going to do roast lamb. I don't even know how long since it's been we had lamb. It's been months and months. So this one is $23 a kilo, the total price is $13.46 and it's 585 grams. I wasn't looking, this isn't the cheapest one like by the kilo price, but it was the cheapest one around the 500 gram mark to get because normally they're all quite big, they're all over a kilo. And just because it's for Nick and I and I still want to keep the total price cost low. So that's why I went with that one. And thinking about it now, I should have got fresh garlic to go with that. But, because I don't want to go to the grocery store for the next three days, I guess I'll just get some from my parents if they have any. To go with our toasties, we got some ham. So I just asked for about $5 worth. Hopefully this is enough. If not, if I do have to pop to the store to get some more ham, I will. Um, but I'm hoping this will be enough for three days. And we just got the champagne ham. I just get whatever it's like cheap, but not too cheap. I don't know. I just kind of judge what it looks like. The Robert Tim's coffee is $10.70. Unfortunately, it wasn't on sale. It's not on sale at Woolies either. Um, but we were completely out and I definitely don't want to run out of that. I also ran out of cleaning wipes, so it's $3.50 from Coles. This is the reason why I went to Coles instead of Woolies, is I really do not like Woolies cheap cleaning wipes, but then with the Coles brand wipes, they're really good. Um, so that's, yeah, why I chose Coles today. And then the bread, because we're kind of changing our diets again. The bread's $3.90 for the loaf of bread. We're still eating healthy. As you can see, there's no junk this time. I know there was a little bit of junk yesterday, but we're still going to be, for the most part, eating healthy breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, and yeah, we're going to be doing toasties for lunch, but it's still okay. <laughs> All right, so it's been a couple of days. I just went to pop to Kmart to get something. They didn't have what I wanted, so I got this stuff instead, and to Coles just for a few things. They didn't have trolleys available at Coles. I wanted things like cans of soft drink and cat litter. So I only got the things that we needed right now, but I still need stuff right now. So I'm just gonna pop to Woolies. I just thought I'll come home, unload, film this part, Nick can start prepping his dinner while I pop back out to Woolies. So from Kmart, I wanted the foil trays so we can do some freezer meals or make enough tonight to last us and put them in the freezer, but they were completely sold out. So instead, I brought Six pack of gel pens. The price for these was $2, um, but they scanned up as $4.50, so that's annoying, but it is what it is. And we've run out of like any kind of scrap paper, scrap notebook, or anything like that in our house. So I just picked this blah 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 design up for Nick. These were $2, the smaller ones were $2 each. Actually, the bigger one was supposed to be $3.50, but the bigger one scanned up as $2 as well. So all notebooks ended up being $2, so that was great. So yeah, I just picked up this design for Nick, which is the blah, blah, blah. And with this book, it has a little pocket when you open it, and then it's just your lined paper. 
for myself I just got this pink marble and it says notes there in gold foil and same thing it has a pocket and then another little pocket and lined paper and then just a general household one I thought this was really cute and it's the A4 size um, again pocket pocket and just all the lined paper so from Coles what I wanted was some milk so I just got my usual one litre milk which was $1.60. We completely ran out of olive oil so I decided to get a litre bottle. This one is $10 a litre. Smaller bottles is cheaper up front because it was only $6.50 but per litre you are paying more. Um, today's payday so we do got a bit of extra money in our budget. Well not extra money but like our budget is refilled so I just went ahead and brought the litres because that's the cheapest in the long run that way and like I said we're completely out. We've next in a meal he wants to make is couscous, a couscous chicken meal, so couscous, couscous for that. <laughs> so couscous for that is $3. He also wanted some curry paste, so I found the curry and co tikka masala paste, curry paste in the Indian section, international section, and this was $2.80. So he only needed a tablespoon or two, and the rest of this, I ended up scoring myself a bargain. I never come across reduced meats this cheap it is chicken a lot of people i know will not even touch it or go near it i did look at the packaging it looks perfectly fine and of course i will smell it when i open it if i'm a bit sketchy with it it will go in the trash but it looks perfectly fine it is today's day so what i'm going to do is some of this curry i'm just going to chuck it on this um, chicken fry it up straight away like tonight and then have it for salad or with salad for the next few nights for a few days for lunches so yeah, so yeah, so with this chicken it is $14.50 a kilo, total price would have been $9.05, I only paid $1.81 because it was today's day and it is 624 grams of chicken thigh. Nick needed chicken breast for his dinner, it was on sale at the deli section by a dollar, it was a dollar cheaper, so it was $9.50 a kilo, I just asked for two chicken breasts so that will last him today and tomorrow, total price was exactly $5.00. And it weighed 526 grams for the two chicken breasts. Punnet of strawberries. The price is starting to slowly go up again. This is $3.40. And bananas as well starting to go up again. Bananas per kilo is $3.50. They used to be $2 for quite a while, I felt like. And yeah, now they're slowly going back up. So I've just got three. This one, you don't normally see bananas like this, but this is perfect. because we want them kind of like this or even a little bit more riper. So I grabbed the three most ripest ones I could find in the store. It was a total of 671 grams, which ended up costing us $2.35 for these three bananas. So I'm going to let Nick put this stuff away. I'll head back to Woolies and then I'll come back. All right, so just popped to Woolies. I grabbed another single banana because this is the most ripe looking banana that they had. Um, $3 a kilo, so it was cheaper there. 72 cents for that one. I say the couscous is on sale at Woolies, but that's all right. Soft drink cans, we just got a 10 pack of Coke, no sugar. So that was on sale for $9 for the 10 pack there. <laughs> um, we wanted lemonade, but there's no lemonade. Well, the cans of lemonade wasn't on sale, and the bottles of lemonade, there was none with no sugar in, so I just grabbed the Coke instead. I wanted to try something different. I want to have more fibre into my diet. I've noticed from changing my diet before and not really having any carbs, that means really low on fibre. Yeah, I've decided to not so much worry about the carbs. Like, also can't be mindful to a point, but oats... Is really good. <laughs> I don't really know. So I thought I would try a bottle of this for breakfast. More. I do need to research more, but I'm mostly just eating foods that sound good to me and also sound healthy or appeal healthy. Or the standards is healthy. Like this one's got the 4.5 star rating, health rating. Um, but yeah, we'll just see how we go. So the Uncle Toby's Plus that was a 700 gram box and that was on sale for seven dollars. It wasn't a massive sale, but it was still a sale, so that's alright. I got this pasta because I want to make that pesto pasta some stage at lunch and it was on sale. So that was $2.70 for the pasta. We got some almond meal. If you hear any background noises, Nick's just cooking his dinner. Um, we got some almond meal, 400 gram bag, 
And that's going to be for the banana pancakes, which I'm thinking as well, I might have some banana pancakes when he makes oh, them. So, so not only will I have this, and sometimes I might just have fruit, but yeah, we'll try the banana pancakes. So that's what the almond meal's for. The cat litter I need, but I didn't check it at Coles because at Coles I didn't have a trolley. And at Woolies, they've just completely cleared it off the shelf. So didn't get cut litter. I'm just gonna have to check holes tomorrow. And same with the cat food, it wasn't on sale in the boxes. So I just got one individual. This wasn't sale either. That was a dollar forty for that one. I just got the one single one, just at least I have something for tonight. The mango chutney was on sale at Woolies though, so this was four dollars fifty. Thank God. Oh no wait, this one was five dollars. Sorry. So yeah, five dollars for the mango chutney. Um, it smells really, really good. And some paper towel, which this is just the cheapest one that Woolies has. It's $2.30 for a two pack. These rolls I feel like are thinner than usual though, but that's fine. So there's everything I brought. I believe I started this on a Tuesday and today is the now following Tuesday. So that's everything that we've purchased throughout the week. Again, obviously I will need to go to the store tomorrow for just cat litter, I believe. But yeah, so... Thank you so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe down below so you don't miss out on my future videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.